I finally got my house free of rodents. Yes. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hans, and I have been fighting an ongoing battle with an inundation of rodents. Uh, we've had rats, mice, and squirrels under the house. So we've had them in the house, and I've tried everything, and these are the different concoctions that I've tried. Uh, the poisons I tried is uh, Rat X poison. They don't touch that. So I coated it with peanut butter that they touched. We smelled the, we smelled the evidence about a week later. Oh God, the stench. It was with us for about a week and then it finally dissipated and went away. So hopefully that little rascal's mummified under the house now. And then there's the cat. We have um, my daughter's cat that lives with us here. And so he's been doing a really good job at taking care of mice. I haven't noticed so much with rats. And chickens also, if you let your chickens free range, they're also great about taking care of mice and lizards. Yes, chickens will eat mice. Now I've also tried um, baking soda and uh, a variety of other elements with baking soda. I've tried baking soda and flour, which works. I've tried baking soda with uh, cocoa powder. That worked. I tried baking soda with um, uh, a couple. Oh, I did baking soda plaster of Paris and uh, flour, baking soda plaster of Paris and cocoa powder. I've had a viewer suggest uh, baking soda with um, or baking soda or plaster of Paris with powdered soup mix, like chicken soup mix. Those, uh, those are attractants. The flour, the uh, soup mix, the cocoa powder, sugar, those are all attractants and that, ge that gets the rodents to get to the, um, and eat the product. And the baking soda is actually, or the plaster of Paris is actually the, um, ingredient that will kill them. The theoretically plaster of Paris will get into their gut and then mix with the fluids and solidify and then they can't poop. Uh, as far as the baking soda, I learned that rats don't fart. So baking soda mixed with the uh, juices in the tummy starts bubbling and then since they can't fart, they kind of explode internally and then they die. Usually they go back to their nest and die. We don't usually see a lot of rats sitting, uh, lying around or even mice. We smell them if we happen to be in an area in the vicinity of a nest. So we uh, are trying a bunch of other uh, things. Even a, a so-called ultrasonic high-pitched plug-in device yeah, we tried those. They don't work. They're, they're a big fail. They do not work. Uh, a lot of other things just simply don't work. Uh, we baited traps with a variety of different baits. We've been catching rats sometimes. We've been catching mice sometimes. We've tried live traps. We seem to have great success with live traps with rats, squirrels, skunks, and mice. Uh, so the live, if we're baiting them properly, I use a combination of grain seeds that I feed my goats. I put that in there, put peanut butter in there. And then also we use these little containers. We can, we can stick them in the garden, stick them under the house, stick them uh, in different places around where I notice there's a lot of rodent population frequenting the area. So that's where we put the powder mixture of the baking soda and the other ingredients. Uh, I've had it in my garden, my greenhouse, the barn. We've had great success at the barn. So now I've noticed that there's a reduced amount of evidence of rats and mice in the barn because they're not leaving their turrets as they had in the past. And it's even gone to the point where I walk into the barn and rats or mice are flying off the hayloft and 
all over the floor. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So that's why we had to start controlling the rodent population ourselves. So now one thing I want to point out is what I did to eliminate the rodents in the house besides trapping the ones that were in the house, poisoning the ones that were in the house, and just getting rid of them. I also had to look at how the rodents are getting into the house and block that entry. And I found that they are actually crawling in through these vents. A couple of my vents had been, um, there was holes in the screen or the screen had come loose, uh, loose from the inside. And that's when we were getting the squirrels, the rats, the mice, and we just have an inundation of rodents going in through that. And then I got that sealed up with this uh, foam. And then theoretically the rats and mice, they won't chew through that foam. Well, that's a lie because I put that foam in the area where my line set from a heat pump goes under the house and there was a breach there in that little area where they were coming in and going out so i figured oh, i just put that spray foam in there they chewed through the spray foam they chewed through it so it's not effective at keeping rats and mice away even though they advertise it so maybe with some populations in other parts of the state or other parts of the countries but not up here on the homestead these, these little devils it, they they are intent on getting into my house. Well, I just got some wire screen and packed in for that hole and no problem since. So I've managed to finally get peace in my house and then no more rodents in the house. I just have to make sure I keep um, vigilant and walk around the perimeter of my house and investigate, inspect, see if there's any burrowing underneath the foundation, which in the most part, my foundation is built on solid rock, so it's impervious to any rodent getting under the house because we sit on a solid stone bedrock here, or it's a hard pan. And it's only about that far below the surface of this part of my foundation actually sits on hard rock so I'm not worried about digging under but the lower parts where it's sitting on rock fill uh, I have to inspect over there so check your uh, structure your footing your foundation your walls to see if there's any breaches in your walls these things do climb up the wall here like these baby rats did oh my god they'll climb up the wall and they'll find a way inside up under your eaves uh, these things are they're crafty. Yep, those things can get anywhere, wherever they want to go. I've even uh, seen where rats will take a stick, trip the trap, and then eat the bait. These things are smart. So you gotta outsmart them. So uh, my plan was keep changing up the, uh, the, um, the attractants and uh, continue. Uh, ooh, it's deer hunting season and there's a buck right there. You see him? He's a two point. There's a bunch of dough that ran off to uh, the left of the screen. Anyway, I'm not worried about lack of protein on this homestead. Uh, yeah. Got rid of the rodents. Free of rodents in the house. Not free of rodents around the farm, but we've reduced the uh, 
oh, the population significantly, and so we're going to continue managing that. So it's going to be an ongoing process. It's just managing uh, rodents and um, keep them um, their numbers down, and then just inspect your building frequently and find and plug any sign of anywhere that they're getting in. And that's how you too can get can become rodent free. I've even tried peppermint oil, spearmint oil. I did it around the rabbit house. We're still getting rats in. These things don't care. They don't care. If they're hungry, they're going to get in. They're going to get what they want. Uh, so the mints just ain't working. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you guys for uh, sharing this uh, with me on how I successfully got rid of rodents in the house. I'm rodent free right now. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us out. If you guys would, leave a comment or give me a tip on what you're using effectively to control rodents. You're not going to get rid of them completely in the environment just to control them. And just mainly get them out of your house. They're disgusting beasts. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. All right? Bye-bye now.